cool. So let's check it out today. We got a uh, wild colony of bees found their way into this uh, dilapidated um, kind of a dresser. We removed the drawers from the dresser. Uh, the unit itself is kind of falling apart, so I don't know if we can drag them out of there. They're underneath this huge Brazilian pepper tree. So it's been a challenge trying to use a sawzall getting in there. But as you can see, check out the bees. All right, folks. Well, the name of the game right now is I'm going to get my BVAC. Um, unfortunately, this structure is just too, it's too dilapidated. You can't really move it without it falling apart into pieces. So what we'll do is we'll come back with a BVAC and that way I'll suck the bees up. Uh, we'll try to remove this drawer uh, that'll give us a little more space to get in there and it's just not convenient being right underneath this Brazilian pepper tree you can see there's really not convenient space to work but uh, it's at least cleared out enough now so we can get back in here with a BVAC and suck them out so stay tuned okay folks so we got the uh, dresser thing here somewhat open it kind of fell apart you'll see the comb is kind of sagging here so this time the approach I'm going to use is I got the BVAC. So we got the BVAC all hooked up and we'll slowly try to get them sucked out of there. So we'll see how it goes. So we got this old dresser here. Look at all the queen cells. Got a sticky, drippy mess. Yeah. What a mess. Okay, folks, so we're back. Um, a lot of that didn't get on video, but you guys got the idea. There was bees in a dilapidated dresser. Uh, we cut the dresser out. Uh, when I say we, I mean my new buddy here. Say hello to Ryan. How you doing? Hey Ryan. Ryan has helped me out here, trying to get him acclimated to these Florida bees. Uh, but for now, we got the bee vac. Uh, I removed the screen, and we have this top box that has the cut comb. Uh, now, I don't know if you've seen it in the photos that I posted, but there is about eight queen cells. Uh, some of the queen cells were open. Most of those queen cells were capped, so with any luck, uh, they're going to be raising a new queen. Uh, but we will leave these girls here for at least a day, let them reacclimate, and then we'll get them relocated. Okay, welcome back folks. This is day two. Uh, Sunday, it's around 6.45, so it's at the end of the day. Uh, again, we have some honey pieces here. There is an extra bit of brood here. I still need to frame up. So the bees have been cleaning all of this all day, but again, the homeowner and her kids are also getting pestered by these frenzy bees. So I'm out here today to kind of get everything all set up to transfer them. And what I'm doing right now at the moment, I took the bee vacuum apart. We have the box that is, has the cutout comb here on the bottom. Okay, so that's just on a bottom board. 
and then I'm gonna go through these frames and then shake the bees onto there. Look for a queen maybe. I am losing daylight here, so I'll try to be quick about it. Okay, folks, as you may see, it's getting a little bit darker out here, but uh, here's the progress. Uh, you'll see that we got the tarp all cleaned up. I took all the honey pieces and I just put them in this drawer. For now, I'll put this in the back of my truck and we'll relocate this to one of my bee yards. Let the bees open feet on that. And then let me show you what we're doing back here. And I know it's dark, but you can pretty much see that the bee vac equipment is now gone, um, except for the top box. Uh, the top box has one frame in the center. I did try to clear out everything that was back there. Um, the dresser, everything I pulled out just because I didn't want the bees to be underneath anything. So for now, uh, the plan is I'm going to, you see I kind of taped the seal up between the boxes briefly. I already got a strap underneath, so I'll go ahead and cinch the strap up. But I gotta pick up these frames yet. Okay, so this is the hive that we want to go ahead and remove that top box. Again, uh, that top box is the box that belongs to my BVAC. It's got the latches on the side there. So I'm just going to peel the tape off from the sides, uh, take the ratchet strap off. Now I have a, this is normally a ventilation shim. Um, what I'm going to use is I'm going to put this on top of the frames so I can set the pieces of cutout comb on top if I need to. So again, that was no smoke. Again, I believe those bees are queenless. Uh, they do have queen cells, but right now it seems like they're very uh, defensive uh, because, well on that one I didn't use any smoke and they're queenless. So obviously we have a bunch of workers coming out showing me how not happy they are. Okay, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab these honey pieces up here and then set them on the, on the hive. In that top box, I initially only had one frame. That's because I, as I was doing the removal, I wanted to shake the pieces of comb. I wanted to lay comb in there and I couldn't put the lid on without a box. So that was the whole reason for that, but I didn't wanna leave that box on without the frames in there for too long because the bees will start attaching the wax pieces everywhere and they'll start drawing comb and it will make a mess. So this was only day two. After I moved them, they sat there a day and now, now they're into one box. Inside of this box, they have their frames of the cutout brood comb that we have. They have the queen cells that were on there. And now it's just a matter of me uh, coming back here again. Next time I inspect, I will use a smoker. 
Again, it's going to be in another couple of days. They have some queen cells in there. I want to listen for peeping noise, the little queen mm -hmm. piping. If I hear that, that's when I want to go ahead and open up the frames carefully to see if I can find okay. another queen cell in there. If so, I'll split them. Uh, it's a good population of bees, uh, despite their, you know, not being a found queen. Um, right now, they're pretty healthy. They're pretty active. They are a little defensive, which is to be normal, but um, we'll see how they go. So just a little update. Keep tuning in.